Montparnasse, bienvenue. Montparnasse, bienvenue. Bienvenue, yes, bienvenue. But not bienvenue like the French word for welcome. No, bienvenue as in fulgence bienvenue. Perhaps you're wondering what this man has to do with the metro. The answer is everything. Fulgence Bienvenue has everything to do with the Paris metro. The network, now used by over five million people in the capital every day, represents his life's work. But let's go back to the start. Fulgence Bienvenue was born in 1852 in Côte d'Armor. His father was a notary and Fulgence was the 13th born child of the family. He was at first a child with a passion for literature, particularly for the ancient Greek and Latin classics. Despite being a lover of letters, he ended up embracing a career in science. After joining École Polytechnique in 1870, he became an engineer of the Bridges and Roads Corps. His first assignment was in Alençon, where he supervised the construction of the region's rail tracks. In 1881, at only 29 years old, he fell off a carriage while working on a construction site, landing on the tracks and crushing his left arm. Bienvenu had his arm amputated due to the accident, and one week later, he was made a knight of the Legion of Honor. This mishap did not stop him from making a speedy return to service to continue his work on rail tracks. In 1886, he was appointed to a post in Paris, where he created the funicular tram that runs between the Place de la République and Belleville. And 10 years later, he started work on what would ultimately be his masterpiece, the Parisian Metro. He presented his project, underground electric trains that would replace horse-drawn omnibuses. The idea had already been raised, but this time public transport was in dire need of an upgrade, because in 1900, Paris would be welcoming both the Universal Exhibition and the Olympic Games. The first line, therefore, needed to be built in just two years. Two years to construct what is still today Metro Line 1 between Porte de Vincennes and Porte Maillot. A colossal job. Tunnels had to be drilled, tracks equipped, entrances dug and drains relocated. And believe it or not, the line was opened on time. This was a huge success among Parisians, and in the five years following this, lines two and three were constructed, with lines four, five, six, seven, and eight arriving soon after. At the beginning of World War II, the total length of the network's tracks was 80 kilometers. Bienvenu took his retirement at the start of the 30s, at almost 80 years old. Monsieur l'inspecteur général, bienvenue. The metro had continued to develop, and at this stage, there were already 800 million passengers using it annually. He died on August 3, 1936, and is buried at Père Lachaise in a discreet little grave, as was his way. Bienvenu said it himself. He was an engineer, not an artist. He sought neither fame nor glory, and yet how he has lived on.